Everton still without a league win and missing their suspended top scorer Nikita Paris, so from Birmingham on Merseyside with the visitors knowing a win would see them rise to the top of the table. And the Midlanders were only denied an opening goal thanks to a superb stop from Rachel Brown, finish from Jess Carter's well-struck effort from distance. The 16-year-old who's been a real star for the Blues this term, so close to a first WSL goal. David Parker's side continued to gather momentum, and when Brown finished lost sight of Karen Carney's corner, she was indebted to Danielle Turner's goal-line clearance to preserve parity. Carney was at the heart of everything good about the Blues' attack, However, after creating an opening just inside the penalty area, the England international could only steer wide. After the break, the former Chicago Red Star striker was at it again. Her free kick was comfortably gathered by Brown finish, though. Andy Spence's team were without a win in four, but had scored in each of their last three fixtures. Lucy Whip's close-range shot after Aoife Mannion's indecision, the closest the home side came to extending that run early in the second half. Birmingham, though, were beginning to dominate, and Everton were thankful for a second goal line clearance from Turner to keep the score at 0 0, this time from Aoife Mannion's header. And the England under 20 international was denied by yet another clearance at the last possible moment soon after. Vicky Jones, the heroine under the bar, as Everton scrambled the ball away once more. The Blues' last seven goals had all come in the second period of their fixtures, and the visitors were getting closer as the half wore on. Kirsty Lynette's header was directed wide, however. Then, in added on time, the chance of the match for Birmingham. Carney fed Lynette, whose cross seemed inch perfect for Emily Westwood, but perhaps fooled by the bounce on the artificial surface, she failed to make positive contact, and the chance went begging. Nil-nil, a share of the spoils, hardly ideal for either side.